Possessing a resilient mindset is crucial for navigating life. It's like a clandestine force that allows one to persevere even when things get tough. Mental strength aids in problem solving, staying committed to goals, and facing challenges with determination, especially when relying solely on talent and skills is insufficient. This video delves into the fundamental principles of Stoicism and their connection to 10 habits that may render your mind fragile. By learning and applying these principles, we can embark on a journey to fortify our minds, making them more resilient and capable of bouncing back from adversity. The first habit that renders our minds fragile is maintaining a negative mindset. A negative mindset is like a heavy cloud obscuring the bright sunshine of inner happiness. This habit makes our minds fragile as it paints every aspect of life with hues of melancholy and despair. Persistent focus on the negative aspects causes individuals to overlook positive occurrences around them, akin to wearing dark glasses that dim even the most beautiful moments. Continued negative thinking leads to a belief that everything is inherently bad, making success and happiness seem unattainable. This pessimistic mindset becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, influencing our actions and decisions. People may become afraid to take risks or try new things because they have already convinced themselves of impending failure. To combat a negative mindset, the video recommends applying Stoic principles, particularly the concept of mindfulness. Mindfulness involves observing thoughts without judgment. Rather than succumbing to negative thoughts, we can acknowledge them and choose to focus on the positive aspects. This practice empowers individuals to break free from the negative cycle and cultivate a more optimistic and resilient mindset. Similar to clearing the clouds for sunlight to shine through, Stoicism introduces the practice of kindness, or loving-kindness meditation. This involves regularly directing warm and positive thoughts towards oneself and others. Through this practice, we gradually shift our mindset from negative to more compassionate and positive perspectives. The Stoic concept of impermanence reminds us that everything is in flux, and tough times will pass, just like good times. Understanding this, we can face challenges with a more resilient mindset, understanding that difficulties are not permanent. By embracing these Stoic principles, we empower ourselves to overcome negative disturbances and cultivate a positive and resilient mind. The second habit that makes our minds fragile is complaining about things beyond our control. Complaining about things beyond our control is like holding on to hot coals, only causing harm to ourselves. This habit weakens our minds as it shifts our focus to problems rather than seeking solutions. It's like sinking deeper into quicksand, the more we complain, the more entrenched we become in negativity. Stoic principles elucidate why this habit makes our minds fragile and how we can break free from its grip. When we complain, we often overlook the crucial Stoic concept of impermanence. Impermanence means everything is constantly changing, and complaining often leads us to believe that things will never improve, trapping us in a cycle of dissatisfaction. Instead of viewing challenges as temporary, we perceive them as enduring problems. To overcome the habit of complaining, we can practice acceptance, understanding that life has its ups and downs, and we cannot control everything. Acceptance is akin to learning to dance in the rain, instead of complaining about the storm. By accepting things we cannot change, we free ourselves from the heavy burden of continuous complaints. Stoicism also encourages us to focus our energy on things within our control, like maneuvering a ship in a storm. While we may not control the weather, we can navigate our ship, transforming from a passive complaining mode to a proactive problem-solving mindset by taking action in areas where we have power. In Stoic principles, letting go is another powerful practice, akin to releasing. When we release unnecessary burdens, we feel lighter. Letting go doesn't mean giving up, it means loosening the grip on complaints, creating space for positive changes. By incorporating these stoic principles into our lives, we learn to face challenges with a balanced mindset, 
accept the impermanence of situations, and focus our energy where it can make an impact. In doing so, we liberate ourselves from the shackles of complaints and cultivate a mental strength that propels us forward even in adversity. The third habit that makes our minds fragile is, not expressing oneself. Not expressing oneself is like having a treasure chest, but keeping it locked away. This habit weakens our minds, because it prevents us from sharing our thoughts, feelings, and ideas with the world. Navigating in the dark without turning on the lights. Things become chaotic and confusing. Stoic principles guide us in understanding why this habit makes our minds fragile and how we can break free from its constraints. In Stoicism, authentic self-expression is considered a vital factor in building a solid foundation for mental health. When we suppress our thoughts and emotions, akin to sealing a soda bottle, pressure accumulates, eventually leading to an explosion. This explosion may manifest as stress, anxiety, or feeling overwhelmed because we haven't released what's inside us. In Stoicism, the practice of right speech encourages us to communicate with authenticity, goodwill, and mindfulness. Just like planting positive seeds when speaking, our words can grow into a garden of understanding and connection. Aligning our words with these principles, we build a bridge between ourselves and others, fostering genuine relationships. To overcome the habit of not expressing oneself, mindfulness becomes a valuable tool, like a mirror reflecting our thoughts and helping us become aware of our emotions. By staying present in the moment, we can observe our thoughts without judgment, expressing ourselves clearly and compassionately. Expressing oneself isn't just verbal, it can also involve non-verbal communication, such as body language and gestures. These implicit expressions serve as a secret language, conveying our feelings and thoughts even when we don't utter a word. By paying attention to our non-verbal communication, we enhance our ability to express ourselves authentically. Incorporating these stoic principles into our lives. We learn that authentic expression is not only liberating for ourselves, but also contributes to the happiness of those around us. Like opening windows to let fresh air in, expressing oneself illuminates our mental space with the brilliance of understanding and connection, breaking free from the habit of not expressing oneself. We embark on a journey towards authenticity, building resilience, and cultivating a powerful mindset. The fourth habit that makes our minds fragile is, blaming ourselves for others' actions. Blaming oneself for others' actions is like trying to run with a backpack full of rocks, it burdens us and slows down our progress. This habit weakens our minds, because it robs us of our power, as if handing over the steering wheel of our lives to someone else instead of driving it ourselves. Stoic principles elucidate why this habit makes our minds fragile and how we can liberate ourselves from the blame game. In Stoicism, the concept of karma teaches us that our actions have consequences, and blaming others is like ignoring this law, refusing to acknowledge the roles we play in our own unfolding journey. When we blame others, we become spectators rather than active participants in our journey. Accepting personal responsibility means understanding that we have the ability to shape our experiences, much like being the captain of our ship. We may face storms, but we can navigate through them. When we blame others, it's as if we claim we have no control, but in reality, we do. By embracing the concept that our actions have an impact, we empower ourselves to make positive choices. To overcome the habit of blame, forgiveness plays a crucial role. Forgiveness doesn't imply condoning others' actions, rather, it releases us from the burden of resentment. It's like putting down a heavy backpack, and we feel lighter and freer. Forgiving others and ourselves is a powerful step towards reclaiming personal responsibility. Mindfulness is a key practice in Stoicism, helping us become aware of our thoughts and actions. It's like illuminating a lamp on a dark path, allowing us to see the road ahead. 
Through mindfulness, we can be alert to ourselves when tempted to blame others and choose more empowering responses. Shifting from blame to taking responsibility is like replacing the stones in our backpack with wings, helping us soar. Incorporating these stoic principles into our lives invites us to unleash our power and take control of our journey. Breaking free from the blame game is not only about holding others accountable, but also recognizing our agency and ability to shape a positive and resilient mindset. By relinquishing blame and embracing personal responsibility, we embark on a journey towards mental strength and self-empowerment. The fifth habit that makes our minds fragile is, treating fantasies as aspirations. Fantasies instead of aspirations are like building castles in the air, they may look beautiful, but lack a solid foundation. This habit weakens our minds because it detaches us from the reality of the present moment, akin to chasing mirages in the desert where our desired goals may remain forever out of reach. Stoic principles offer insights into why this habit makes our minds fragile and how to shift from fantasies to aspirations for a more grounded and positive mindset. Fantasies often involve unrealistic scenarios and wishful thinking, like expecting to find a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, a lovely thought but not based on reality. When immersed in fantasies, we might lose ourselves in daydreams, simultaneously missing the beauty of the current moment. This habit weakens us because it can lead to disappointment when reality doesn't align with our imagined scenarios. Aspirations, on the other hand, involve creating mental images of achievable goals, akin to having a treasure map to plan a route to desires. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of right intention and right action, aligning with envisioning positive outcomes and taking practical steps to achieve them. By grounding our desires in reality, we bridge the gap between dreams and achievable goals. The Stoic principle of impermanence reminds us that change is constant, and fantasies often involve a stubborn attachment to fixed notions of the future. Aspirations, however, adapt to the ever-changing landscapes of life, much like riding a wave instead of trying to cling to the shore. Moving forward with the flow of life, we cultivate a more flexible and resilient mindset by acknowledging the impermanence of all things. To overcome the habit of fantasies, mindfulness becomes a valuable tool, like putting on glasses that help us see the present moment clearly. We become aware of our thoughts, gently guiding them towards positive and realistic aspirations. Mindfulness allows us to appreciate the beauty of the present moment while actively working towards our goals. Incorporating these principles into our lives encourages us to shift from fantasies to aspirations, cultivating a more positive, grounded mindset through the principles of impermanence, right intention, and mindfulness. We break free from the habit of building castles in the air. Aspirations become a powerful ally, helping us manifest positive realities and purposefully progress in the journey of life, demonstrating qualities of resilience. The sixth habit that makes our minds fragile is neglecting personal relationships. Neglecting personal relationships is like having a garden and forgetting to water the plants. Over time, everything will wither. This habit weakens our minds because humans are social beings, and meaningful connections bring joy and support. It's akin to trying to sail a boat without wind, progress may happen, but the journey will be slow and lonely. Stoic principles guide us to understand why this habit makes our minds fragile, and how spending time can cultivate stronger interpersonal relationships. Neglecting personal relationships is like closing the door to a warm and welcoming home. We miss out on the comfort and support relationships can provide. When we don't allocate time for our loved ones, it's like neglecting a garden, and misunderstandings and distance begin to grow like weeds. This habit weakens our minds because we may feel isolated, lacking the nourishment of love and companionship. Building and maintaining relationships require time and effort, just like tending to a garden to make it flourish. To overcome the habit of neglecting personal relationships, we can start with presence. 
Presence in relationships is like sunlight, it helps them thrive. Spending quality time with loved ones, akin to regularly watering plants, deepens bonds and strengthens connections. Communication is another crucial aspect of cultivating relationships, akin to filling sails with wind, propelling us forward. Taking time to listen and share our thoughts and feelings is like watering the garden of relationships, keeping it vibrant and lively. By staying open and communicative, we cultivate understanding, deepening our connections. Stoicism encourages us to recognize the impermanence of life, including the time spent with loved ones, akin to savoring a delicious meal. When we know it won't last forever, we cherish it more. By understanding the transience of time, we are motivated to prioritize relationships and gift our time to those we care about. Incorporating these principles into our lives reminds us that personal relationships are like threads weaving the fabric of our happiness. By making time for our loved ones, we cultivate a support system, strengthen our minds, and enrich our lives. Breaking free from the habit of neglecting personal relationships enables us to journey through life with companions, making the voyage more enjoyable and fulfilling. The seventh habit that makes our minds fragile is, letting emotions dictate us. Letting emotions control us is like being swept away by a powerful river, we lose control and direction. This habit weakens our minds because unchecked emotions can become overwhelming and lead us astray. It's like navigating a storm without a compass, we might get tossed in turbulent waves and struggle to find our way. Stoic principles guide us to understand why this habit makes our minds fragile, and how to develop emotional intelligence to navigate the torrents of emotions. In Stoicism, mindfulness is a powerful practice that encourages us to observe emotions without being swept away by them, akin to standing on the riverbank and witnessing the flow without getting pulled in. When we let emotions dictate us, it's like being caught up in a storm without an anchor, getting tossed around and finding it challenging to stay on course. The concept of emotional intelligence involves recognizing, understanding, and managing our own emotions, as well as empathizing with the emotions of others. It's like having a compass in a storm that helps us navigate challenges and maintain a steady course. When emotions control us, it's like handing the steering wheel to a tumultuous force, risking getting lost in chaos. To overcome the habit of letting emotions dictate us, mindfulness becomes a valuable ally. Mindfulness is like a sturdy ship that helps us navigate through turbulent waters without capsizing. By being present in the moment and observing our emotions with curiosity and non-judgmental attitude, we gain the ability to respond wisely instead of reacting impulsively. Stoicism encourages us to cultivate a balanced mindset through practices like loving-kindness meditation, planting seeds of kindness in our hearts, enabling us to approach emotions, both ours and others, with goodwill. By embracing emotional intelligence, we learn to navigate the sea of emotions, no longer allowing storms of emotions to manipulate us. We develop a set of skills that allows us to understand, navigate, and learn from our emotions. Incorporating these principles into our lives helps us break free from the habit of letting emotions dictate us. We no longer let emotional storms toss us around, instead, we become the captains of our emotional vessels, guiding them forward with mindfulness and compassion. By cultivating emotional intelligence, we sail through the sea of emotions in a resilient manner, maintaining a steady course towards mental strength and well-being. The eighth habit that makes our minds fragile is, trying to control everything. Trying to control everything is like juggling too many balls, it's exhausting, and eventually, we might drop them all. This habit weakens our minds, because it leads us into a state of frustration and disappointment, akin to trying to capture the wind, an impossible and frustrating endeavor. Stoic principles guide us to understand why this habit makes our minds fragile and how to find strength in the paradox of letting go of control. In Stoicism, the concept of non-attachment teaches us to let go of the illusion of control, 
much like realizing we cannot grasp clouds because they are always changing and shifting. When we attempt to control everything, it slips through our fingers like trying to hold water, leaving us feeling helpless. Letting go of control doesn't mean giving up, instead, it means recognizing the limitations of our influence. Much like planting seeds in a garden and nurturing them while acknowledging we cannot control the weather. The weather may bring rain or sunshine, but our role is to diligently care for the garden. When we accept that some things are beyond our control, we free ourselves from constant struggle, much like loosening a tightly clenched fist. To overcome the habit of trying to control everything, mindfulness becomes our ally. Mindfulness is like a sturdy anchor, it grounds us in the present moment, allowing us to focus on what we can influence while letting go of the rest. Stoicism encourages us to embrace this paradox, that letting go of control leads to true strength, much like realizing that by relaxing our grip, we gain the strength to face life's challenges. When we release the need for control, it's like opening our hands to accept everything life has to offer, rather than tightly clinging to preconceived notions. Incorporating these principles into our lives invites us to release the burden of trying to control everything. By letting go of the illusion of control, we paradoxically find strength, much like sails catching the wind, propelling us forward with a sense of freedom. Breaking free from the habit of micromanaging life, we discover the power of embracing the ebbs and flows of life. The ninth habit that makes our minds fragile is, dwelling on the past. Dwelling on the past is like carrying a heavy backpack filled with old belongings, it slows down our pace, making the journey more challenging. This habit weakens our minds because it keeps us stuck in what has already happened, preventing us from fully enjoying the present or looking forward to the future, much like trying to drive a car while constantly staring into the rearview mirror. We may miss out on what lies ahead. Stoic principles help us understand why dwelling on the past makes our minds fragile and how to break free from these shackles. In Stoicism, the practice of mindfulness teaches us to be present in the moment, much like opening windows to let in fresh air, clearing away the stifling heat of dwelling on the past. When we linger in what's behind us, much like attempting to walk backward, we may stumble and lose direction. By letting go of the past, we create space for new experiences and opportunities. Dwelling on the past also ties us to old wounds and resentments, much like keeping a bandage on a healed wound for too long, hindering us from fully embracing life. Stoicism encourages us to practice forgiveness, not only for others, but also for ourselves. Forgiveness is like opening the door to release the past, allowing us to step into the present unburdened. Stoic principles about the nature of impermanence remind us that everything is in flux, much like watching a river flow where the water never remains the same. When we cling tightly to the past, much like attempting to freeze the river, it becomes stagnant and loses vitality. By acknowledging the impermanence of all things, we free ourselves from the chains of past experiences. To overcome the habit of dwelling on the past, self-compassion is crucial, much like offering a kind word to a friend in need, we deserve the same kindness. By treating ourselves with kindness and understanding, we break free from the shackles of the past, moving towards a more liberated future. In casting off the shackles of self-imposed regret and guilt, the past metamorphoses into a sage mentor rather than a custodian of confinement. Assimilating these principles into the tapestry of our lives empowers us to forge a path toward liberation. By embracing mindfulness, forgiveness, and self-love, we cultivate a readiness to traverse the unfolding moments of life. The relinquishment of the habit of lingering in the past grants us the capacity to approach the present with ease and openness, prepared to embrace each unfolding moment in the journey of life. The tenth habit that makes our minds fragile is, worrying about what others say and do. Worrying about what others say and do is like carrying a heavy backpack filled with other people's thoughts. It burdens our minds heavily and hinders our authenticity. This habit weakens us because it ties our self-worth to external opinions, 
much like maneuvering a ship that gets rocked by every passing wave. Stoic principles provide insights into why this habit makes our minds fragile and how to free ourselves from the shackles of constant judgment. In Stoicism, the practice of equanimity encourages us to maintain balance amidst praise and criticism, much like standing on solid ground, staying stable when the wind blows. When we excessively worry about what others think, it's akin to building a house on shaky foundations, easily swayed by every storm. By cultivating equanimity, we foster resilience when facing external judgments. Judging ourselves based on others' opinions is like letting someone else hold a mirror, seeing ourselves through their eyes rather than our own. Stoicism teaches us the importance of self-acceptance and authenticity, much like wearing our favorite clothes instead of trying to fit into someone else's wardrobe. We express ourselves sincerely, let go of the need for constant approval, and break free from the limitations imposed by others' expectations. Mindfulness is a core theme in Stoicism, helping us become aware of our thoughts and reactions. When we worry about what others say, it's like getting lost in a maze of opinions. Mindfulness is a guiding light that helps us rediscover our true selves. By being present in the moment, we can observe these concerns without getting entangled in them. To overcome the habit of worrying about others' opinions, self-compassion becomes a powerful antidote, much like planting seeds of kindness within ourselves, which grow into a garden of self-acceptance. By recognizing our intrinsic value and embracing our unique qualities, we build a shield against the arrows of external judgment. Incorporating these principles into our lives liberates us from the mental fragility brought about by worrying about what others say and do. Practicing equanimity and embracing authenticity, we break free from the chains that bind us to external opinions. Breaking free from the habit of constant judgment enables us to navigate our own journey, moving towards a life guided by inner strength and authenticity. Stoic principles provide a comprehensive guide, helping us overcome habits that make our minds fragile. By weaving mindfulness, kindness, and wisdom into the fabric of our daily lives, we can transcend negative patterns and cultivate enduring mental strength. This exploration serves as an invitation, urging us to embark on a transformative journey, integrating the profound principles of Stoicism into the tapestry of our existence. May the wisdom of these principles illuminate the path to resilient and empowered minds, inspiring a life filled with purpose, kindness and joy.